you guys welcome and welcome and to divine golden master where we master being divine at this 3d reality i wanted to do a um quick little haul uh candle haul what i get from the botanica i want to start doing more of these because i do go often so i want to do these videos more often for you guys um sorry about the light and it's not that great right here just because you know i'm moving right now and I love it. Okay, I don't want to say the S T R E S S F U L word. I love it. I love it. I'm happy for new beginnings. All right, so I'm not affirming anything else but that. So let's just jump right in, you guys. I'm going to show you a few things that I got from the Botanica today and a few things that I got from the grocery store as well. Um, so let's get into it. We're going to start with the candles first. All right, so just like. <laughs> Just like she don't play, like just like her energy don't play, and I want to say this too, right? A lot of people ask me, "Oh, is it okay to work with this person? Should I work with this entity, this deity?" Da da da. We are one. I believe in the flower of life. So stop thinking of yourself separate. I've done a video probably like two years ago now, talking about how when we work with different deities, we activate different energies within ourselves. So do not sleep on the fact that. Um, Santa Martha, St. Martha, whatever you want to call it, or um, Santa Martha, y'all know I work with her too, and it's not really working, but I embody the archetype, Oshun, Papa Legba, these energies, I know I speak of them, a lot of people speak of them as people, but make sure that you always understand that this is in our DNA, you understand what I'm saying, so do not realize, do not sleep on the fact that you're you're a deity, and you're activating something within DNA. We're a pro, like we're our minds. I'm not gonna go deep, but anyway, this is supposed to just be all, <laughs> and I'm trying to go deep. <laughs> we gonna talk about that later, y'all. Once I get settled to my new place, I know that I have a lot more time, and I really want to sit and do talks again. Um, so yeah, so this candle is a Santa Martha candle, Damedora. That Medora, <laughs> you gotta roll the tongue, all right. And um, the depiction is her, and you see the snake as well, okay. And um, it has the prayer in Spanish on the back, but I also have a prayer in my notebook. I will be doing a video about this energy here about Santa Mar uh, Martha, Saint uh, Martha, however you want to call it, um, but how she can be used in your life. All right, this could be a sign. Maybe you may need to work with her. She's really great for, um, and when I say work with her, what are we saying? Embody her, right? I need to shift my narrative and my speech as well so that it can get through. Um, so I'm working on myself with that as well, you know? We're all learning, okay? So be patient with yourself because we're, especially like when you come from certain backgrounds, they teach you certain things, you know what I mean? So yeah. So, um, she helps you to overcome difficulties and struggles as a simple fact. And I'm going to do a video specifically about her, so I'm not going to go into detail. But, yes, yeah, so I went and got that candle, okay, from the Botanica today. Um, it is Tuesday, all right? That is her day. Some people say Monday. Uh, I'm more so resonate with the Tuesday, and that's what you more so see. Um, but you know how I feel about those things. Now, oh, I didn't smell this one yet. This is a quick money candle. And y'all, I've never seen this one in the Botanica. So this is going to be my first time with this one. But the card, the money, and the gold was calling my name. Okay. And it says, um, the, and it's one of the ones that's dressed. Let me show y'all that too. Y'all see it has some moving stuff and then it has like, um, the two yellow and red pieces. Okay, and then we have, the, it says the arom aromatic candles are a direct connection with the spiritual realm, well, world. Any person who wishes to pray for a special request for a matter of health, love, prosperity, protection, for good luck, will highly benefit from this candle. When you light the candle, the exquisite aroma that emits helps raise the vibrations that connects with the superior 
forces. Period. Okay? I never tried this one. I'm excited though. Oh my god. It really does smell really, really good. No. That smells really good. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And they also have glitter on here too. I'm excited about this one. I'm about to um, light this today. But yeah, the quick money was just calling me. I'm like, and if for some reason I was like, I don't really want it to be quick. I want it to be long lasting. But I've already done spells for long lasting money. And I just want a quick increase. I'm moving. I'm spending a lot. So I need quick money to come to me a lot. Okay. Um, and this smells really good. So I'm going to let y'all know how this goes. It is orange. You know, that's that roll open energy as well that I put that. Um, I attribute that to that as well. And um, I always like to go in the Botanica. And do not go in the Botanica with fear. Go in there and... Go in there with just wanting to be guided by your spirit guides. Go in there just wanting to listen to yourself, right? But like we were saying, your spirit guides are you. Nothing is outside of you. So know that that is you, okay? So uh, when I go into the Botanica, especially because I'm not doing as much client work. I'm still doing client work, but I'm not doing as much client work and as, much, as many group rituals at this time. I get to focus really so much on my own consciousness and see, like, what do I need? Spirit, take me where I need to. Just like, um, that's what brought me to St. Martha, okay? And I'm going to tell you that story in another video. But it's best to do that, and I've done it for a long time, but sometimes we get distracted in life and we get, just, we forget about listening to ourselves. You know what I mean? So, listen to yourself when you go to Botanica. Go to what you're drawn to. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't let people talk you out of what could be the shift in between the life that you want and the life that you have right now. You understand what I'm saying? So, period. Now, this one right here. <laughs> See, like, we ain't gonna go into the, in the deep on this one, but <laughs> you see what it is, okay? Now, this one has a man on bending knees, okay? And it says, the powerful bend over, all right? And I'm not going to tell y'all uh, exactly what I'm using this for, but later on after I get done with my working, I will. But you can just use this for when you need to. Um, like, because especially as a divine feminine, sometimes we can have issues, and not even just in relationships, work, um, landlord, whoever, boss, neighbor. You can have issues with them. And... Uh, sometimes you need people to bend to your will and see things your way because they're so close-minded that you got to work with the energy, all right? And, you know, with no harm to none, but you got to work with the energy because sometimes people is hard hit. okay? So that's what I'm going to say. And it says these ar uh, aromatic, aromatic candles will enhance anyone's connection to the spiritual world. Combining the elements of fire and air with exclusive oil blends that are created with specific intention of each purpose. When you light the candle, focus your mind, heart, and prayers on your knees and special requests. The pleasing aroma will help raise the vibration of your wishes and carry them to be heard and attended to under the divine grace. So it's a little bit similar to the other one, um, the explanation there. And it's wrapped. It is also dressed. I don't know if I should have closed. And I like, um, like, you could very much do these candles on your own, but I like going to the Botanica because, number one, the lady at this Botanica, I love her. Like, she, and I've had so many spiritual experiences in this Botanica. Now, at first, the energy used to be so heavy that I would get lightheaded. Like, it was crazy. But I was noticing that every time I would go in there, there was so many people in there. So I was like, let me try to pick a time when it ain't that many people up in there. And this lady is so sweet to me. Like, she's just so nurturing. She got a big old shoe on so as soon as you walk in. It's called A's Candles. The letter A, apostrophe, this candle smells so good. The letter A, apostrophe S. I'm trying to think of what it smells like. It's like a lemon. But yeah. The letter A, apostrophe S. And candles, all right? And my government name starts with an A, so I kind of just resonate. And every time I go in there, she just, she's so nurturing. She read the energy. She's really good. I've never gotten any reading from her. But she is, you know, whenever you buy something from somewhere, mm -hmm. just 
It's like when you go get fast food and things like that. But when you find your spiritual work, you want to go to a botanica that you resonate with. You don't want to go nowhere where the person, you're not really vibing with the energy. Go somewhere else. That is important. Like, even I'm from anywhere and I'm not vibing with the energy, I'm leaving out of that establishment and I'm going somewhere else. Period. Okay, so, yeah. This is like a very lemony, like, it's very... It kind of reminds me of y'all know them candles how they smell and not at, not exactly like it because those could kind of stink sometimes, but it's like a better one. Um, but the candles that keep away the mosquitoes, I don't know what those are called, but it smells like that. Just a hint. Okay, got some cinnamon in it. Also has glitter. All right, so we <laughs> we got that. All right. Now the next one we got y'all. Don't come for me. Because, hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. We got the Big Daddy candle. Okay. Money candle. This candle right here, um, it says, this ar uh, aromatic candle was created just for you. Big Daddy. It is infused with the sweet smell of success and the spirit of glorious excess. Burn it when you want to relax and watch everything good in your life keep getting better. If you are looking for someone, looking for a big daddy in your life, burn the candle every day until he is drawn to you like a bee to honey. And remember the famous words of Mae West. If a little is great and a lot is better, then way too much is just about right. Period. I like that. <laughs> this is my first time getting this one too. I seen it and I was like, oh yeah, that's me. This week on Chewy. That's me. Where the money? Take me shopping. Take me on a date. <laughs> okay, so period. And um Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty so pretty self explanatory. I love that affirmation. This one is also dressed, so let's see what it smells like. Ooh, it smells fruity. It's like strawberry fruit punch. Mixed with, mm hmm, it smells good. <laughs> it just smells good. Okay, I can't wait to like that one. Mm hmm. And I got also got a do as I say, um, because I am now this do as I say. I'm using this as a um, more so. Oh, I'm recording. More so of. Mm, I'm using it for I'm in sales at work right so I'm using it in that aspect so it's like more so when I start talking to people because when you look at the image look like when I start talking to people I want them to just do as I say buy the product shop to me right because you just love to buy them. like and that already happens like I know I saw this other lady um it's like teas natural body products things like that right I sold to this one lady she spent like a hundred some dollars worth of stuff and it's not expensive, not that expensive, right? So she bought a whole bunch of stuff and she hugged me and like so many people thank me for them for them shopping, right? So I was just trying to keep that energy and get more sales, you know, period. So this is a do as I say, but you can use this multiple different ways. Um this one says it's a prayer in here that says powerful spirit that controls all threads of my life. I come today asking for your help. Bring Blank, you could put a person's name or like me, I'm gonna say my customers to me. Do not let him or her rest until they submit. Now, I probably will switch that position that uh, position up a little bit. Um, and I also will sh switch it on here because you know, words hold frequency, so you could also edit it with your pen and stuff. Uh, mandate that he or she will do as I say, and I'll probably put mandate that my customers will do as I say. Make him or her listen to me. So so shall it be. Because, like, a lot of times, too, like, where I, where I sell my products and stuff, like, think about it. Like, me personally, I'm not trying to listen to nobody selling me nothing. I, I know what I want, and I don't need you trying to convince me to spend my money because then I'm going to spend my money. <laughs> so, that's how people be. So, you know, I'm a, I want people to come to me more. And I want people to listen, and I want them to buy. And that's what how we position in this one. Oh. Smell good. Yes. That smell really good. Yes. 
That's what it looked like. All right, so I got five candles. Um, I got some chime candles as well. Let's see what else. All right, so let's look at this. This is the um, Mystic. Bringing in the green. Money drawing spiritual cologne. And it also has my birthday right here. I didn't notice this. Now, this is something else that I just grabbed. Um off intuition and sometimes i used to be like oh i don't always just get all money stuff but it's like if your intuition telling you then you might as well but it says it's eight fluid ounces and 227 milliliters now 227 is one of my numbers but my birthday is also 827 so that's a sign all right that's not a coincidence um oh wow this is from canada toronto yeah i like and a lot of people like oh you, those colognes are not real. They don't have real da da da. But it's like, it's all about how you use things. And when you put a label on something, if I take a water bottle and put a universal cross on it, guess what? I just invoked it with the power of protection. Okay? And it became holy water. So, you know, stay woke. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we got some rue. We got Unblocker. Um, now with these, I do add different spiritual colognes, different herbs, but I like the basis of it. These have been sitting in there for that purpose. And then I go ahead and add whatever I want to add to it. Um, this is Double Fast Luck Bath. And it just be a bag of herbs and you open it up. And then um, this is a triple reversible. Okay. That's that don't don't fucking play with me. That's that fuck around and find out. That's that right there, okay? Um <laughs> Now we're talking about incense. This is one of my favorite incense. Dragon's blood. I'm kind of like one. Uh, Dragon's blood incense. Like if I could just burn them constantly and never have them stop burning, I would. Alright, but I'm not constantly able to because I'm not constantly at the house. <laughs> You know what times when you run out, but this is my favorite. Like, I love dragon blood incense. When I smell it, it invokes like a, a different type of energy in me. And I know that aromatherapy is so real because I remember I did shrooms like two years ago, and I lit an incense, and I literally um, had, I was invoking a, a spirit or entity or energy, and I literally started to see her in the mirror on my face when I was on show like I see shape shifting so I was literally like I was dancing doing my little you know invoking the energy I went into the mirror even though if you are a beginner with shrooms I don't recommend you going to the mirror because it's like it could be scary but if you are not a beginner and you're not afraid I'm going to the mirror and invoke the energy and I was seeing the deity in my face and like I would, sometimes you even see a shift so certain like when I started to smell the incense is when I start to really feel the energy and then I saw it. So aromatherapy is real. Now the next one we got is Divine Power Incense, all right? It's one of my favorites. It smells so good, really good. And they wrap these incense twice, which I feel like is just a sign that it literally is more powerful, right? Um, we got Amber Incense. Amber is really good. I think I might do a video on that, but it's a really luxurious type of smell a luxurious type of vibe a luxurious type of energy it's an abundance type of incense so i recommend it now these right here we're going to talk about these later but these are the uh papa candelo incense now these i was just drawn to my intuition to get them all right so i'm gonna see i'm gonna ask for what i need to use them for and i got some come to me incense all right because i constantly want to keep that loving energy keep that passionate vibration energy here and then, like I said, I was going to tell you about, guys about some um, grocery items. Um, some things I always put on my altar, depending on who I'm working with. Uh, coffee, molasses. You see my white flowers I got here as well. Um, and uh, eggs. Those are some basic things that you can use uh, as offerings, different things to put on your altar, or even just different spiritual practices to um, raise your vibration or shift your frequency or uh, what you have going on at the time. 
so that's all i have for you guys that's all i got at this specific visit i will start to do more of these videos and then maybe we can do live chit chats and talk about uh excuse me and talk about the things and see like what questions y'all may have but i will definitely be doing a video on um saint martha uh saint martha dominator dominator um i'm gonna learn how to say that <laughs> but i will be doing that very soon so y'all be on the lookout for that i love you love yourself peace